beginning of college. And he wants to date a girl, like, doing a business. And they're trying to do something. And they end up, they're like, on the bottom of the barrel, they have this, this house, this fight club house. Where, like, the father, like, bangs his head on the on the cupboard. Even though he doesn't need to sit there, but he bangs that on the cupboard anyway. That's great. And then they end up in this... I don't know why I'm saying this anyway, because these are spoilers from the film anyway. So the first hour is, like, mainly comedy. And then you find out about, like, this hidden passage way inside the house. It's, like, a little weird, but they still go on with the comedy with that. And you're trying to figure out what's going on with the stuff, and they ignore it so that they distract you from thinking about why exactly it's going on. And then there's a scene where their little child son is like in the tent outside and he's like in the rain. And then the kid, the parents are like looking after the kid. And then like the protagonists are like the protagonist's family is like hiding under the table. And then like parents are like touching each other. Korean art house humor. Um, and then there's the ending. Where the son, the main main protagonist. I don't know if he's trying to like take out like it looks like he's trying to take out the prisoner or something. So he brings like oh they have this like huge rock. I was wondering in the beginning, was this like a magical rock that was going to give them like rich powers like because they're in this rich house and stuff? And I don't know. I'm still thinking it might be. But he, drop, he drops the rock. Then apparently the prisoner gets free and then attacks the sun. The sun he travels the sun with a neck collar to the pipe. He escapes. But gets stuck. And then the prisoner like knocks him out with like The rich helmet, the rich, the, the rock of wealthiness, the wealth, the rock of prosperity, whatever they call the rock. Then he takes a knife, goes after the daughter in the family, and then the wife is like trying to defend trying to save everyone or take out the prisoner who's trying to kill everyone. The father of the family who's trying, who owns the house is like, who the baby that's sitting in the house for is like, give me the keys. We have to go to the emergency room. They mentioned before how it takes 50 minutes to go to the emergency room. The father gets killed by the protagonist's father. And then I don't know who what happens to him. Kills the protagonist's father. The daughter dies. Cause like it looks like she's I, I was hoping she, they would save her, but they can't save her. And then the son with the emergency, the head injury apparently survives. They didn't do like a, they changed the protagonist thing. And so the son comes back as a protagonist from the point of view of that director. That uh, narrator. He talks about what happens. He has this condition where he can't stop laughing no matter how horrible the things are. And then the father sneaks back to the house. Apparently the family with the house just got for like a good real estate deal. And then the son's like, I wish I could. And then he sees his dad like hiding in the basement. 
and secret passageway stuff. So he's like, I wish I can grow up so I can buy the house so that the fire does not sneak away, sneak all over the place to... He's getting letters from the dad and it's like, he doesn't want, he wants to like see him before I have it to like disappear and stuff. You know, Studying the house, where the owner is. There's a German owner who, that, who doesn't have real German food. I like, well, he doesn't have just sausage and stuff. And then, like, it all adds up to like when, in the beginning, he's like, I'm college at, there's a college educated kid, there's a pretend you're in college, make it look like it's true. Let's see my notes. And all the stuff, like, factors in to the beginning of the film, like, with the college stuff. With, like, how there's, like, rich people. And they're, like, in this house that, like, looks like it's from freaking Fight Club. And, like, it shows you, like, what can be done to give you motivations, like an old boy and stuff. It's very patient. If you were, like, a Marvel film, you'd be, like... And I was like this, too. I was like, what's going on in the film? Why is all this stuff happening? Why am I watching it for... Then you watch that and you're like, oh, it totally makes sense because it makes you wonder, like, what would motivate you to, like, get very rich college or whatever. I also wonder if the head injury thing is, like, it's all in his head. Because, like, we see the him by the house, but on the they later reveal that that's only, that didn't really happen. Not necessarily because, like, he's, like, wondering... I wish some, he ends like saying basically, someday I hope I can buy the house so I can see you again, dad. But like, you don't know if he can actually do it or not. If he actually does it or not, it's like a cliffhanger ending. Also, the father bangs his head on the cupboard in the beginning, possibly showing, possibly showing an indication of what would come later when the, the son bangs his head, his head hurt. Because of that rock of prosperity hitting him on the head. Again, maybe the rock of prosperity has like some sort of magical power. Or maybe it's just a head injury. It sort of feels like The Shining. There's some snow involved too. A lot of stuff that, that this year with like it, Chapter 2. And uh, Doctor Sleep coming out this year too. A lot of, uh, a lot of very cool Stephen King stuff. What are your thoughts like on the scribe?